Hello, I am Takashi Sato from the Department of Immunology TMDU. In this video, I will explain the functions of macrophages and novel findings from our research on various sorts of disorder-specific macrophage subtypes. About 20 years ago, macrophages were not a popular thing uh, because we saw that there was only one cell type of macrophages whereas other immune cells such as T cells, B cells, dendritic cells had some subtypes. Uh, moreover, it was so that it did not play an important role in functionality. The role of macrophages uh, was thought to be only phagocytosis. However, uh, because other immune cells also have subtypes, we hypothesized that uh, there may be multiple subtypes of macrophages uh, rather than just one. First of all, uh, we focused on allergy reaction by using chitin as allergen. The administration of uh, chitin led to the induction of GMJD3, which role is epigenetically H3K27ME3 demetration. When induced GMJD3 unlocks IRF4, the expression of IRF4 is elevated and other type macrophages are activated. Then eugenophils are recruited and accumulated eugenophils causes the reaction. So activation of the macrophages does not occur in GMJD3 knockout mice and allergy reaction does not occur, suggesting that GMJD3 is critical for activation of allergy type macrophage subtype. Next, we focus on metabolic syndrome. Uh, we found that residential macrophages in adipose tissue is differentiated by triple 1, and this macrophage subtype maintains adipocytes. When triple 1 is deleted, this type macrophages disappear. As a result, since uh, the maintenance by triple 1 regulated macrophages is not performed, adipocytes are not maintained normally, and lipodystrophy develops. Accumulation of excessive energy in the knockout mice by feeding with high-fat diet results in ectopic fat accumulation and a significant uh, exacerbation of metabolic syndrome because the deposed tissue in knockout mice cannot store energy normally. Therefore, triple one regulating uh, macrophage subtypes is fundamental for homeostasis of adipose tissue. We are currently thinking of one uh, hypothesis from these two studies. Let me show out the story here. Please see left blue panel when arsenes were administrated to tribular knocker mice without metabolic syndrome type macrophages. Arsenic reaction occurred normally in the knocker mice. On the other hand, please see right orange panel when we examine the adipose tissue of GMJD3 knockout mice that have abnormal RZ type macrophages, metabolic syndrome type macrophages was normal and did not show any pathological conditions such as lipodystrophy. Collectively, these studies have revealed that uh, there are actually at least two or more macrophage subtypes. For over 100 years since macrophages was discovered, it was so that there was only one type of macrophages, but these studies uh, have revealed that there is more than one type. So now we are thinking like this. In our life, we face diseases such as cancer, allergies, metabolic syndrome, autoimmunity, and so on. And we mammals uh, have various macrophage subtypes corresponding to each disorder. We call this disorder-specific macrophage subtypes. We continue to work in terms of disorder-specific macrophages, and next we focus on fibrosis. We found a typical monocyte involved in fibrosis development. They have segregated like nucleus. So we named this segregated nucleus atypical monocyte SATM. Also, NFIL6 is critical for differentiation of SATM. Fibrosis was significantly replaced in mice 
lacking that M. Therefore, we found that this cell type is fundamental for fibrosis development. Next, we studied uh, the crosstalk between the immune system and the non-immune system during fibrosis development. Once motor damage occurred in tissue, RBM7 was elevated in non-immune systems. The elevated RBM7 degrades NEAT1 specus and BRCA1 was separated from the specus. These events led to successive damage and cell death. Under this condition, chemokines, including CXL12, were released and SATM was recruited to the fibrotic region in response to the chemokines to initiate the fibrosis. In addition to these three disorder specific macrophage subtypes, we are currently studying uh, diseases such as dementia, infectious diseases, and cancer. As a summary of our study, previously we saw that just one macrophage was involved in the exacerbation of various disorders such as diabetes, RZ, cancer, and so on. However, our results so far indicated uh, we mammals have various types of macrophages corresponding to different disorders. Therefore, identification, investigation, and regulation of every type of disorder-specific macrophage subtypes is indispensable to develop novel drugs without side effects. Thank you for watching.